Hey everyone, here's another video on another updated bot. Today's tutorial will be about Pokemon Go sniping. And also be sure to check out my buddy's YouTube channel, Mixie. He also makes Pokemon Go bot tutorials as well. So let's get started. The first thing we must do is open the Poke Sniper bot link in the description. Once you're on the website, select Download through your browser. From here, proceed to open the WinWar file once it is done downloading. And we can minimize our web browser now. Now we can make a new folder in our desktop named Pokey Sniper V2. For those of you who still have the old version. Now we're going to just copy all of these files and put them right into our newly made folder. From here, you're going to open, you're going to check out user.xml, and this is the exact same setup as the original Poke Sniping video. You will set your default latitude and longitude to your actual coordinates. Yes, you will have to put in your actual coordinates. Uh, leave the altitude at 10. And of course, for logging in, for you PTC users, here you'll put in the username, and here, here you'll put in the password. And for Google, same thing. Here's the password, and here's the username. Now, for those of you who don't know your latitude and longitude and you'd like to figure it out, the second link in the description should be leading to mygeoposition.com. Now from here, you guys can scroll in and out to find first which country you're in. I'm just going to choose a random state in the US. Of course, for my own privacy, I'm not going to be putting and showing my actual coordinates. I'm just going to choose a random place in Denver, Colorado. So you're going to right click on once you found your location, your exact address. And you should see the latitude and longitude show up. So you guys can see 39.67 and then negative 104. You guys will replace the default longitude and latitude that are already set in your user XML file. So once that is done, we can continue on to the next step. Now to quickly mention, when you guys are putting in your Google username, make sure that you write out the full email. So for example, username at gmail.com. Now once you guys are done putting in all your information, you're just going to hit on file on the top left and then select save. From here, we're going to open the pokesniper2.exe. We're going to run that and this small batch file will come up. Uh, I will read this out loud to you guys. Read settings from user.xml. If letter N, pokesniper2 will ask for your information. Now, we're not going to need to put in our information because we already saved it to the user XML. So this is nice, automatic, and convenient. So from here, you guys are going to hit the letter Y on your keyboard. Now, I will not show you guys this on my screen because I do not want to show my actual location and information. So once you guys are done with that, uh, after hitting Y, you're going to hit Enter. And I'll, we'll continue from there. So once you guys have hit Enter, you guys will see uh, Pokemon with a semicolon. And from here, you guys can start sniping. Now, on my Discord channel, I have a bot that automatically places coordinates for rare Pokemon. So from here, you guys can just start sniping. So let's try out this Lapras. And we're going to copy these cords. Gonna right click, and if you guys do not get anything when you right click, simply right click up here, select properties, enable quick edit mode, then from here you guys should be able to paste just by right clicking. So now it's going to be searching for a Lapras. Now I did not find the Lapras there. This could be a surefire way of knowing whether or not you are soft banned. Uh, if this happens to you more than three, four times in a row, you're more than likely soft banned. 
And I will be posting a new video in just a few minutes after this video uh, explaining how to unban yourself with an unbanner. So from here, you guys should be fine and it should show a catch. Alright, so as you guys can see, this does work. I entered in a Charmeleon and I entered in the latitude and longitude, copied, and then right click to paste. And here it shows that I caught it. And a nice little convenient feature about this sniper bot is that it actually lets you know how many Pokeballs you have left and berries. Also the amount of Pokemon you have until you fill up to where you can't hold anymore. It's a nice little convenient feature. So guys, this is pretty much it. This rounds up my video. Be sure to join my Discord where my bots post cords instantaneously. And also be sure to check out my boy's Mixies channel. Alright, thank you guys so much and enjoy. Hey everyone, this is my second upload today on an updated VOD. This video will be about how to unban yourself from a soft ban in less than two minutes. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is open the first link in the description named the Unbanner V2 link. Then proceed to select download through your browser. Once that is finished, open the file and proceed to make a new folder on your desktop named Unbanner V2. Then copy all of these files into our newly made folder. From here we're going to open this up and we're going to go to the user.xml file. It should be the last file in there. Now, from here you guys will want to put your actual latitude and your actual longitude. So once you guys, if you guys don't know how to take care of that, I will actually show you right now. So you guys will click on the second link in the description and from here you guys will scroll out and find wherever you are in the world and once I'm just gonna choose a random state let's go to Wyoming uh, once you find where you are uh, you're just gonna right click on your house just a random location let's pretend this is a house here <laughs> and you guys are gonna copy your latitude and your longitude. Uh, if anything, don't ever worry about the elevation. So once you guys replace your latitude and longitude, uh, for here for the Google username, unlike the Poke Sniper, you won't have to add at Gmail. In fact, you're not supposed to. Here you just add everything that comes before that. So instead of at Gmail, I'll show you guys that won't be existent. It's just what comes before at Gmail. Just like that. Put in your password and then from here select save and we can continue on to the next step. Now once you're done saving you're going to select on quickspin.exe. Now from here read settings from user.xml if n Quickspin will ask for information. We won't need to input any information because we just already put it in in our user.xml. Nice, convenient, and fast. Now you guys will press the letter Y on your keyboards and then a huge little yellow text would come up. Now I'm not going to hit that because it's going to show my personal information and my location. But once you guys are there, you're going to hit enter. So once you guys already hit Y and then enter, you guys should see a blue text letting you know how many Pokestops there are within a small radius of your area, your closest Pokestops to your actual location. And depending on how far away they are, it could take from a minute to a minute and a half, maybe even two minutes. Okay, so once it actually arrives at the Pokestop, It'll let you know whether or not you are banned, either you were banned, or you just will never were. Just like me here. I've already done this, so as you guys can see, we got XP from the Pokestop, so we can't be banned. And just like that, you guys are done. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or any concerns, you guys can join over at my Discord channel. 
Uh, thank you guys so much. We actually ended up hitting 630 members so far on this server today, which is amazing. And thank you guys so much for all of that support and everything. Uh, I will also post a third video today about the Necrobot that's been requested by many of you. But for now, on this video, uh, you guys should be unsoft banned, and you guys should be able to pokey snipe just fine. Alright, thank you guys so much, and have a great day.